The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host, and my name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck Twat. Mm-hmm. And uh, alongside me as... I, this isn't usual. This yeah. is not usual. This is three stand-up comedians first. I'm going to give uh, the host that's normally on here on a regular basis. He is the uh, 2021 funniest person in Wichita, uh, Derek Alter. Yeah. yeah, boo me. Yeah. Fuck, these guys are the ones that you're Jesus here for. Jesus Christ, we've got Jake Rubel and AJ Wilkerson. Oh, that's the wrong button. There it is. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. And this is going to be a clusterfuck of the conversation because we don't have any notes, no nothing. Uh, we're just going to have a conversation. That's it. Yeah, we also didn't know that we were doing a podcast. Uh, you were like, we have a PS5. Yeah. <laughs> you should come over and check it out. And then we just kept yeah. walking down more you, and more yeah. stairs. Why don't you come check out a basement? <laughs> AJ just keeps talking about playing Valhalla. I don't think that's what he's talking about. No, I thought you were taking us to Valhalla. Yeah, I thought this was definitely like a... Uh, yeah. But no, we're, we're after the after the show here in Wichita, Kansas at Vorshay's Lounge. Um, holy shit, y'all killed it. Yeah, you guys had... Cool, guys man. Had, <laughs> <laughs> no, no one was harmed. Everyone's yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys did it. Yeah. We hated it. No, we <laughs> didn't. Yeah. It's like men on, men on film. You guys were just in Borchay's Lounge. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, how great would it be, though, if if he was just like... Uh, we just left the show. Could have been better. Uh, I have some notes, actually, about your show. Number one, quit. <laughs> he has those same notes for every Number time two, I do a show. Number two, kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No so shit. you used to be homeless. I can see why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were homeless? You deserved it. <laughs> no, but it was, it was a very good show. I was impressed by both of you. I had a fucking great time. You know what? My wife hates that I do this podcast. And uh, she was impressed by both of you, believe it or not. She laughed at both of your asses. <laughs> believe, well, we don't believe it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, she has, no. Yeah, His yeah. wife has not laughed that hard since yeah. she's seen me naked last time. <laughs> that right. was the last time yeah. she laughed that hard. Yeah. Why did she see you naked? Uh, I, well, that is no, uh, that's between. A whole yeah. story. No, I think that's it. exactly what yeah. we should talk about. Story. Yeah, I think that's where we're going with this. <laughs> he went tanning. I took off the towel. He ran around in the front yard. I don't know why. That's what happened. All right. Well, yeah. not a fun story. Wait, why that were you was, guys? You ruined it. Why were you guys tanning together <laughs> naked? Okay, act like we don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know why we do it. That's yeah. why I'm asking them. Yeah, it's Appar- called love. <laughs> yeah, you should Apparently, look it up. You see never what happens seen is when two out. men really love and care about each other. <laughs> You tan. You tan. Yeah. You tan. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You, guys, you know how I know they're not in love? They use towels. Yeah. That's right. Man, man's out, tans out. <laughs> That's how it works. Have you guys seen that new sh- that show on Netflix with uh, Melissa McCarthy and her husband? No, no. because I don't God. watch her. Uh, no, it's God's favorite idiot. <laughs> Is the what? name of the show? It's, it's probably Melissa McCarthy. Is the idiot? No, no, no. I don't a, like her. I it's can't her husband. Stand it. Oh, I think they're. So I feel funny. like uh, now I have to come up with a new title for my autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. That was, I feel like it's a weird way to break it to me, bro. <laughs> Just yeah. right here in a stranger's basement. Yeah. <laughs> By well, the you way, know. you gotta fucking rename your shit. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but no, we had a great time, uh, and uh, Jake. Uh, you told me, uh, like I asked you, because you're you guys are both on the road, um, and you actually have a family at home. 
Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly? <laughs> I don't know if they're still there, but right, yeah. I've been gone for a while. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. He has them. I mean, yeah. It's against their will, but he <laughs> has them. I collect them. Okay. I got a few. It's, it's like, like Pokemon. Yeah. You got to collect them all. Fair enough. I mean, there's, I've only got one family. <laughs> Above ground. <What? laughs> yeah. By the looks of you, you look like the, you know, the, the, the Chong. You know, I, I would say Tommy Chong. I'll or tell you. Bit, yeah, I'm all, all, day, all day yeah. long. Um, but after is it because he's Mexican? Yeah, that's is it. Is that why? Yeah, that's well, it. Well, Tommy Chong's not Mexican. <laughs> no, he's not? No. What is he then? <laughs> he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> is he? I don't fucking know. Well, 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 God, well, I'll give you, I don't know if you know this or not, but <laughs> Chong typically not. <laughs> Tommy is a very Hispanic name. I didn't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> L. Tommy? Yeah, I believe I, I could be wrong on this, but I believe uh, he is not Mexican. You <laughs> could have fooled me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, turns out, Canadian. <laughs> so you were on the wrong side of the border, my man. Hey, you know what? I had a very good square mile radius where I could have been correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of garbage between those two. <laughs> you are correct. 100% correct. Yeah, you were on the wrong side of the trash can. You know dude. what sucks is that I am part Canadian. <laughs> and I didn't know my own no. heritage. Hey, not anymore, you're yeah. not. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, but no, but anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, it's Jake Rubel. Jake Rubel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You pronounced it wrong. We call did him I, JR. Did I really? You said Jesus Christ. Oh, did I really? Okay. It was a joke. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you right. you did enjoy the show, I can Com- tell. Common mistake, though, in all seriousness. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, but you, no, you you came on, you you fucking killed it, but you you do have a family at home that you're yeah, uh, supporting. Yeah, I've got all, I've, I've, <laughs> I wouldn't say supporting. <laughs> <laughs> the supporting is on the other end of this. <laughs> Some people would describe their families as loving and supporting and... I would not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the support goes one way. Honey, can I have more money this week? Uh, yeah, I've got a, a, a fantastic, wonderful wife at home uh, at work right now, so that was someone can pay bills. And then I've got three uh, great, great kids, man. Yeah. And, and my mother-in-law also lives with us. How dare you talk about them in front of me? (laughs) (laughs) You know the rules. (laughs) I didn't say her name. (laughs) Stephanie. (laughs) I will give you guys I will give you guys a hundred dollars if you could guess my wife's name. Uh, Your wife's name? And I'll give you five chances apiece. (laughs) Oh Oh, is this a game? Are we gonna do this? It's a game. Let's do this. Let's let's do it. Let's go. AJ, you can't play. Okay, no, okay, by the by the way that he asked the question, it has to be an older name. Gertrude. <laughs> no. That's okay, that's shit. one of yours. That'd be so sexy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Uh, I'm going to go with Eleanor. Nope. Okay, fuck it. Ooh. All right, that's you, you get next man. guess. You get God next guess. I'm still going old. Shirley. No. Oh, God damn it. Not AJ, even close. AJ, Is it a color? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's actually, purple. It's actually, I actually, purple stinky actually when my hand, yeah. when my hands are freaking out on stage, it's actually I'm writing her name over <laughs> just over and over yeah. again. If you were to do the whole, give me a pen and hold a piece of paper yeah. under there, like, <laughs> it's like that Indiana Jones bullshit. Yeah. But then he just keeps putting it's either that, through it. It's either that or like a magic spell. It's got to be something. Doc. You guys want me to tell you what it is? Yes, yeah, please, yeah, no. please, Chia. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you never would have got never. that. Third guess. God damn it, you shouldn't have told me. <laughs> you were me. so close. I was there. So close. Yeah, I know, surely. I was like, oh, I almost had it. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Te- yeah. Teenage yeah. Ninja Turtle down, by the way. Way to go, Axel. What? What? Yeah, he killed a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It's, it fell down. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, and how yeah, dare it's you? Pathetic. But yeah, uh, but no, but so, seriously, go ahead. Yep. Uh, uh, wife and kids are at home. Uh it's. It, I mean, it's cool. It's like I never thought that I would be the dude that would have a family. Yeah. Um, like I always assumed that I would be the guy that would just couch surf all the time and just pass out on buddies' couches. And yeah. then now I'm married with kids, and occasionally my <laughs> wife lets me sleep on the couch. Yeah. So. 
<laughs> you were the guy on the couch. I'm from dude, half yeah, hundred percent. Hey, I thought, guy. I yeah. thought that was gonna. Uh, I thought it was your friend. Uh, I am the guy on your couch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He really is. Yeah, or were, sometimes in the camper. Or sometimes yeah. in the camper. You yeah. are Stephen Wright. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jay. Is, yeah. is it August? <laughs> oh man. How how is total mind blower? <laughs> how is life on the road though? Because I know I can see all of AJ's, and I, and I know that you open for him and and do your act and stuff like that. But how is life on the road? with you like daily um yeah so i mean it's it, it depends like i've got a few different co uh, comedians that i work with i book a lot of stuff on my own like uh so we we tour f full time which is a weird way of saying it because jay mm -hmm. doesn't work that often doing clubs but uh jay muse from mm -hmm. jane silent bob so i'm the opener he's the feature and then jay is the the closer you don't look the part at all by the way yeah i know yeah, yeah. yeah. no, yeah. no yeah. shit he's I always, actually silent jay yeah that's exactly <laughs> I, always, what is. Yeah. I always tell this people that like I, I look like uh jay and bob had a love child and left it in a dumpster for 30 <laughs> years oh absolutely yeah, yeah. so yeah. But, but yeah, I work with him. I work with Donnie Baker a lot. I open for him yeah. all the time. Good good buddy of mine. Dusty Slay is a good friend of mine. I know he's going to be here next month. Yeah, yep. I'm pumped. Um, yeah, 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 he's. Yeah. I open for him occasionally. He's a good friend of mine. So, And then, yeah, I got some stuff I do. But me and AJ hooked up a couple of years ago, and it was just like, <laughs> It just felt good. Yeah, Magic. gave you gave, gave yeah. you the tongue a little bit. I mean, uh, oh, more than man. a little. Yeah. More than a little. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. it was just like one of those deals to where we were like, oh yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> okay, and it's it's been great. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm on the road quite a bit. Um, it's like. You know, I, we were talking about it earlier. I try to do. I don't want to be on the road more than like two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I try to. I try to usually do like a week gone and then i'll be home for a week yeah you know try to just do it that way so i'm just like a like a really poor truck driver <laughs> yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's, Dude, we joke about that all the time it's like we don't get paid to do stand-up we get paid to drive places <laughs> that's yeah. right. the stand-up is 100 percent free we just get paid to travel no yep. but that that is in all i mean that that is a honest thing about listeners that you guys have they have no idea what it's like to be a comedian a traveling comedian they yeah. have no clue well whenever I, I guess to give you a glimpse when we pulled up we so we don't eat typically like before a show true yep. um so we always get our food to go after the show and whenever we pulled up to your house we were like, hey, we're going to eat real quick, and then we'll come in. And you're like, well, you can come in and eat. And we're like, no, thanks. Yeah, like, no, we're no. just comfortable in the car because we're in the car so much. No, J AJ opens the door and is like, hey, can we eat out here? And I go inside. I'm like, they're fucking eating in their car. And my <laughs> wife goes, they can come in and use the goddamn table. No, we're not Who house needs broke. A table? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt so it's bad. No, man, it's like it's just comfortable. Like not too long ago, we you know we did this run where we went up to Buffalo, New York. We stayed in Cleveland for a week and yeah. basically went to like Buffalo, New York. Then we went to Pitt, Bradford. We went to New Jersey. We went to New York, and then we just came home. And yeah. it was, so we were in the car constantly. Yeah. yeah. And it it doesn't bother us. And like I'm I can't be around people usually that amount of time. Sure. And it, with him, it's just like, we'll just be driving and we will go like three hours and neither one of us say anything to each other. That and would it, fucking it's, freak me it's out. It's so comfortable yeah, to where it's just oh. like, it's fine. Yeah. That would freak me out, man. No, it does. It Not like me. doesn't. We barely spoke. I went and picked him up at his house today and it's about a two and a half hour drive down here from his house. Yeah. We probably spoke. I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. How yeah. in the fuck does that happen? We were listening to an amazing audio book. Apparently. And we were just, we were both just in it. So every now and then we would pause it and then talk about the book. Like we're watching a movie and then, uh, and then play it again. Spoiler uh -huh. alert. He came all over her face in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's one, it's one of Danny those. Trey. I hope so. <laughs> Danny <laughs> Trey. Oh, I honestly hope so. I mean, yeah. that would be a great way to yeah. wrap that That's book That's why up. they call him a shitty. I mean, <laughs> it turns <laughs> out. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No, but it, 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 I I had an absolute blast at, at the show. It was it was really cool to to like hear like I don't know your side your story. It was it was a lot of fun. Oh, thanks, man. Um, and uh, I was actually surprised. My my wife actually liked you, and she didn't well, like she that's didn't like a drugs. Backhanded <laughs> fucking comment. <laughs> uh, my wife was, doesn't even like me. I was no, surprised. She hates too. my ass. I was very surprised that your wife liked me too. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, no, that's the no. whole reason he came over here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was like, how well? Yeah. Yeah. She's upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I know. Oh, he okay. Okay. She texted him. Yeah. Eyebrows, eyebrows, Doug. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You know, I'm. You know, it's it is what it is. But we had uh, we had AJ also come up and follow you up. And yeah, I was also there. Uh, you were kind of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, small right. part. Kind small of. part. Yeah. 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 What did you think so Fuck. far? You did what, all right. I mean, like, Wichita, Kansas is not... Uh, seven. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> seven. Dude, nice seven to, seven's pretty pretty good. That, we're, we're, that's not we, bad. I don't know what we're I rated. Very, I don't yeah. know what I... But whatever it was, seven. <laughs> great. We're, we're not very nice about sale cities. of towns. That's cool. <laughs> I'll I'm take it. To, no, Vorchez was very cool. Dude, the, okay. So, like, the, the high, like, vaulted ceilings and, like, the way it's, like, uh-huh. narrow and built. Doug, it looks like a restaurant, like... Like in a train station while like you're waiting to go to Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> That's very accurate. It's a movie. It was an old very movie accurate. theater, is what it was. What? Yeah, nailed it. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah, cool. nailed it. That's yeah, pretty cool. And, and, and I didn't know that. Yeah, Steve. Steve legitimately himself when he had his uh, contracting company, he actually turned that into what it is now. And uh, initially, they had live music. They had all of that stuff, and then he decided a couple weeks ago that he was going to be a comedian so no it was like a year and a half ago and i made half. him do it <laughs> yeah and nice. he did yes and uh and now we we have the opportunity to talk to excellent folks like you guys Damn. so it's pretty fucking it, it's pretty crazy but uh he did he turned that place into what it was into what it is and it's it's fucking it's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. very cool also it was very cool like uh how like how many people after the show were like thank you for coming yes. to wichita yeah dude apparently people don't come here a lot. no no what the fuck are you gonna do here it seems Come fine. to our show. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it seems it seems totally fine. No, it's it's just it's just laid back and Raphael's quiet. having a fantastic time. <laughs> they, yeah. There's PS fives <laughs> in every basement. Yeah. That's why you yeah. got a PS five. No one else in Wichita wanted one. <laughs> oh no, there's no. a cock fridge. Yeah. <laughs> a, right, right. Uh, but no, the guy that sits in your very seat. It took him a long time to get a PS five, but he got one. He did get one. He sits in my seat. Yeah. You're the seat that you're sitting in right now. I don't like that. You got <laughs> big shoes to fit. I thought this was a, a fresh shoe. seat. No. I think, yeah. he's, I think he just gave you his PS5. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think. That just I think. By law. That just happened. I think. By law. Yeah. You know what? You can, buy, you can just take his and the other guy will replenish it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm leaving without it. Yeah. <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He put. robbed a drug dealer. That's <laughs> true. That's you true. Put your okay. PS5? That's God. true. Okay. Uh, but allegedly, no. yeah. allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> and, that, and I, I just went along with it. He <laughs> is taking according your P- to sources. Yeah, your PS5 and porno DVD are gone. <laughs> right, <Yeah. laughs> uh, consider it done. <laughs> so AJ, we got, we got to get the we got to get behind the story. Obviously, uh, you you end up doing a joke. It was a joke, right? The video of the joke. What the vibrate? What vibrate oh, feature? The vibrate feature? Yeah. Like, is that what initially hit it? What? <laughs> <laughs> With the H? No, no. Am I, what? Is this on the H? Yeah. What? Is that what initially what? Hit, hit the vibrate? No, 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 no. Like, so all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. I'm just liking this back and forth. Where <laughs> you're like, you're legit asking like, <laughs> like legit questions. And AJ's just like, oh, man. <laughs> What do you mean? Seven. Are you are you asking? Seven. Are you asking what? if that was the Seven. video? Are yeah, you asking if that, that was the, the video that made him pop off on social media? Correct. That was uh, my question. No. What was it? I had a couple. I didn't like. I didn't have like one video just pop off. I like started. He's building very like on funny. TikTok. Yeah, I'm so funny, Doc. Like we're so <laughs> we're so good at our jobs. <laughs> but believe me, we no, know. Uh, <clears throat> No, I had like a, a couple like videos like start hitting like in like the thousands and like a hundred thousand and so on TikTok, and so like I built up to like I don't know like originally like twenty seven thousand, and then it jumped to like forty something thousand, and then to like seventy something thousand, and then I sat there for a little bit, and then eventually like I broke a hundred thousand, and then like as videos would go, like I'd jump up another couple, you know, whatever. Um, so. I don't even know what my biggest video is now. I've got, uh, I know on, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, I have videos with over a million views. That's awesome, nice. dude. Uh, yeah. That's fucking so. amazing. And kudos to you for doing it because what got you started in comedy? 
What made uh, you want to start doing it? Marijuana. Okay. <laughs> That's all it took? No, no, no. No, I always wanted to do comedy. I just didn't think I could do comedy. Are you like, serious? I tried to do an open mic in like my mid-20s, and uh -huh. like I couldn't make it in the doors. I threw up. Really? Yeah, Are just, you serious? I threw if you had done it on I stage, you'd have killed. I threw up and like <laughs> I threw up and then Naruto ran away like a child. <laughs> just really? Yeah, dog. I was out of there. I couldn't do Is it. Is that how you pronounce those? Naruto? <laughs> I think so. I didn't know. Did you play the disability it's card when cool. you did that? Like, is that what totally no, I wasn't did. diagnosed. He didn't even know. He didn't even know. Oh, oh no. I'll be Se damned. Secretly autistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Which is the worst kind. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, the secret. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you're actually, you know. He's like the Bruce Wayne of autism at that point. He's just very secretive. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, but no, but. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's my, that's my bad. Idea. But no, I mean, I, I mean, that's. That's a that's a that's a pretty decent question. I mean, like, uh, whenever you were diagnosed with autism and you decided to go uh, with comedy, was it more like a fuck you to the diagnosis? Or? No, no, it was more like uh, like talking with a specialist. We were like literally talking about like things I like my brain needed, and she was like, "Well, you need like a creative outlet," and I was like, "Yeah, I'm like I was at the time I was like trying I wanted to like make like my own cartoon, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I was like trying to teach myself like animation and storyboarding mm -hmm. and like." how to write scripts and all this different kind of stuff. And she's like, so you're just putting like, you put a bunch of hurdles between you and like the thing you actually need. So why don't you just like try going to an open mic? And I was like, well, I tried before and uh, I couldn't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was like, well, what about now? And she was like, what do you mean before? And I was like, before I got diagnosed. And she's like, and? And I was like, oh yeah, and got marijuana. And then I was like, oh yeah. And then like I put those two things together and I was like, I could smoke marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> and then go do the thing. Which is what most comics <clears throat> do. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, kind of a, it's kind of a one, two. Yeah, so yeah. And then I tried it and fell in love with it and got addicted to it and then couldn't stop doing it. Is it not the most addictive drug in the world? That's a yeah, yeah, it is. And you've been doing it how long? Uh, three years. Three years, and you are fucking fantastic at it. Both of you guys are. Yeah. It's, a, it's, uh, it's awesome to actually be able to watch you both, like, go up there and be able to, to read a crowd and be able – like, the chick that snorted tonight right, yeah. was fucking great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was fucking awesome. Well, I know, like, a lot well, of he people – He had the chick that snorted. He had the dude that snorted. Yeah, yeah. So there the were dude. multiple snorters. You <laughs> know what right. I mean? Yeah. It was like a Coke party in the we'll audience. Be, yeah, we'll be. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll get people snorting. Snort jokes, yeah. not drugs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that dare. Nancy Reagan, I think, said that. But yeah, also, yeah, yeah, that's sure. right. But also that was snort her thing. drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also snort drugs. Yeah, just yeah. saying, yes. But wasn't she on speed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, but the other thing is, is that, um, like, uh, especially with you, Jake. Uh, whenever you go up out on on uh, on stage, uh, you have this appearance that you talked about, mm -hmm. and uh, you talked about how it's uh, you you're thinking about changing it. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's just that just leads it into the next thing where I'm like I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to. I know you shouldn't. No, no. no. This is who I am. If people don't like it, I don't care. I know, you know what I mean. Like this is just me. He's a sexy boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is, is like the where I was before I did comedy, it was very like I could not have long hair. I could not have a beard. I had to be very clean shaven mm -hmm. and glass house and all that for like six years. Tattoos and zero tattoos. Oh, wow. And but I, I am a drug addict, so I have like an addictive personality. Mm -hmm. And I just knew if I got one, I would get them all. And really, he'd go. Full I'd Pete collect Davidson, them all. Dude. Yeah, it would be rough. <laughs> full Pete Pete. He was, so. and by that you mean he's gonna fuck Kim K. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. Mean, not even the tattoos. <laughs> yeah. He was just gonna start fucking celebrities. I just want to know at what point Pete Davidson tattooed on a better face because he has. <laughs> he's, objectively, he's gotten handsomer. <laughs> mental health, bro. Mental health <laughs> looks good <laughs> on people. <laughs> true, I'm telling dog, you, that's mental so health looks true. good on people. Oh, I'm about good. to get so fucking healthy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm oh telling you, son. Dude. My brain's going to start doing so many curls. Yeah. yeah. Too bad <laughs> mental health month is over. Not for me, bro. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> every month. I live mental health. Month. Yeah, I t- it's, it's all about games. My mental health is like AA. I take it twenty four <laughs> hours at a time. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, no, but like you legitimately go into a comedy show, go out there, and if anybody took a first picture of you, mm-hmm. they're gonna diagnose you right off the gate, like 100%. right right off the bat. Yeah. What did I say? Diagnose, but I never, yeah. I never meant what you, you said. Know, you know what I said. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you, you play the part, but uh, you're completely clean. Yeah, so the thing 16 is... 16 years? Yeah, 16 years. So, so 15 years off alcohol, 17 years off drugs. Crazy thing so is, I just he's 24. Yeah, that's no crazy shit. thing. That's so, the craziest yeah. shit. I mean, I started very young. So I was raised by a biker and a hippie. There you go. <laughs> and so I started... Uh, the tie dye shirts drugs. are making sense. Yeah, very, very young. And then I got, I also got clean pretty young. Like I was, by the time I was twenty one, I was done with everything. Yeah. And I was just like, all right, like I, I've, d- I've done all that. It's good. I'm just gonna do something else now. Yeah. So, and unfortunately, that something else was preaching. Yeah. And <laughs> I always say the worst thing about getting clean is that you have to go to church afterwards. <laughs> he stopped, he stopped, he stopped snorting drugs. Yeah. And I mean, if it gets you out of there, I mean, like. Now, I'll be honest with you, man. Church. The Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Crank to Christ. Church, <laughs> church was fantastic, man. It really taught me a lot. And, and honestly, if it wasn't for church, I would not be in the career I am now. Is sure. Because. I, I, I was a preacher. I was a Sunday school teacher. I taught a lot of Bible studies. It taught me how to speak in front yeah. of people. It taught me how to not be nervous of, with silence. Yeah. So, like, from the get-go, I would do open mics, and I, I tell stories. And sometimes people don't laugh at the stories, and the other comics would come up and be like, how are you doing that? How can you continue to just talk with no one laughing? And I'm like, well, first of all, you're a jerk. <laughs> yeah, you're an <laughs> yeah. asshole. Yeah. But they're like, no, like, at, like once it wraps up, like you have laughs in between it, but you'll go like two minutes with zero laughter. Yeah. And I'm like, it's oh. because it's important to the story. Oh, yeah. You go way longer. Than yeah. That. <laughs> way longer. <laughs> now, but I just don't care now. <laughs> yeah. I gave up. But uh, yeah. It's just, like, that's like, that's like two thirds of your time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's but not I mean, even uh, telling jokes, dude. And seriously, after the show, he's like, "Why do they laugh? I'm like, like I don't know what. Yeah, what are they doing? Yeah. I was just reading. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I was just reading from the scripture. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, I did that for like six years, and then so I mean, I owe a lot to to church. It really taught me a lot. But then I I got to this point where I was like, all right, well, religion's not for me. It was very I I was very upset. Hated my life. Hated who I was. Every time I look in the mirror, like I hate the person I was seeing. And, um, you know, just uh, trauma warning, just so everyone is aware, I uh, attempted suicide. Oh, shit. Like, I was done with life. I was over, and I was, uh, I was outside, and I had a gun in my hand, was ready to pull the trigger, and my wife came out and talked it out of my hand. And, uh, you know, she, she said exactly what I needed to hear, and I went inside. I put the gun up, went inside, and just like looked at myself in the mirror and was like, if I hate this dude so much that I want him to die, I'm just going to kill this version of him. There you go. And all right. I walked away. I, I walked away from all the responsibilities that I thought I had, yeah. all the expectations people put on me, walked yeah. away from all of that, and started living my truth. And uh, I did. I took about two or three months where I just really didn't do anything, was just trying to like settle and figure myself out. And then a friend signed me up for an open mic and was like, you have to go do this. And I was like, all right. And I went and did an open mic. And then six months later, I quit my day job. No shit. Yeah. So six months into comedy, quit my day job. Very stupid. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Not a good idea. Yeah, that glory hole yeah. is not going to fund itself. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> no, we're sitting here and we're, we both have day, do- day jobs. Both yeah. of us do. Yeah. And eventually, that's that's the goal. Eventually, right. that is the goal. Oh, for sure, yeah. But, I mean, ah, oh, dude, that, expect that's... to be very poor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Do you want to know the secret? What's that? Marry a nurse. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So divorce my wife and <laughs> or, find a nurse, or she can become a nurse. I'm just saying. okay. All right. No, I mean, I was apply yourself, yeah, Katie. Inter- was, <laughs> interesting that, that that divorce was your first option. Yeah, that was like, weird. Like, that was like, weird. It was almost like you were waiting yourself. for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I felt like, like you were but, waiting for that. Yeah, like not like let me put her in school. Like, <laughs> you let were me like, help her. You know, like <laughs> no, nah, like let me drop this lady. Also, yeah. I feel like the way you said it was very rough. Mine? Oh, absolutely. No, you. Let me put her in school. I'm gonna put her in school. I'm not the one. 
that, li- that <laughs> didn't want that option. You know what I mean? Yeah, You're not if wrong. she fails a test, rub her nose in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my like, god! You failed! Jesus. You fucking failed! Oh my god! You're 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 just a bull in a china shop, aren't you? Look Absolutely. At you. Look I at am. you. You're yes, just out of control. You knock over another Actually, Ninja Turtle. I'm a Chinese guy in a bull shop, is what I am. That is <laughs> wow. I okay. don't think you can say that. I think <laughs> I am allowed to. Your last name. I am a quarter Canadian. <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> I believe it. That is. That's not how this works. That's not how any of that's this works. That's not how works. any of this works. I have to believe you know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. He knows. He he definitely knows. He just likes that to step over lines. Uh, yeah. Give me uh, but, but in all seriousness, uh, with you, AJ, uh, what was your deal? What was like? Yeah, what's your deal? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, guy? What's well, your after problem? I broke out, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I yeah, what know. the fuck's wrong with you, AJ? <laughs> Moving on. No. Well, I was dropped as a child. And, uh, I Me was too. Actually, I was dropped as a child. Me too. Mine was by my father. Yeah. My <laughs> uncle dropped me on my grandma's laundry mat floor. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. My mom just spiked the fuck out of me. So that's that. But uh, all but right. in all seriousness, uh, what, what's uh, what's your story? So you came into comedy uh, not long after being diagnosed, and then all of a sudden now you're on this journey with uh, with Jake. Uh, yeah. No, it's a journey. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a fucking journey. Yeah, so, uh, so I started comedy like pre-COVID, and then like right before COVID, I uh, I got signed up for this like tour that was gonna like take us like all over like the southeast, um, and it was based out of Tallahassee. So like I packed up, moved my stuff into like this house they had rented for us, and then COVID happened, and the whole tour got canceled. So I was literally like, you know not going to sign a lease in the middle of COVID. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I literally bought like a piece of garbage van. Nice. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and like built a little like bed frame and threw a mattress in there and then just started going to different cities. And then in Kansas city, I, uh, I happened to meet like the club owner, uh, at an open mic, which one Dustin. Oh, you bet uh, Dustin yeah, Coffin. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, a couple weeks later, he posted that they were doing a contest, like a competition, to open for Jason Muse. Mm-hmm. So I asked him if I could come back and do it. And he's like, dude, if you want to drive back from Florida to do, like, a competition, like, by all means, like, come on. And so I came, and then I w- ended up winning the competition. And then I came back again to open for Jay. And that went so awesome. Like, when I went like I went backstage, uh, it was, like, guy that was on the like on the road with him started talking to me and asking me if I could like travel and if I wanted to like come open and like and do shows with Jason Muse. And then Jay stuck his head out of the green room and was like, Yo Brosif, can you like get on planes and shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that. I yeah. legit fucking just hear that question in my mind when he says that. <laughs> yeah. Legit. He was like, Hey Brosif, can you like like, are you okay to like get on planes and shit? Like, can you can you fly and shit, Doug? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, all right, cool, cool. It was very, I don't know, it was very That's weird. Fucking it was a very awesome. weird moment. That's fucking totally awesome, though. I can one hundred percent hear him. I can from being a Jay and Silent Bob fan and fucking Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes and fucking Chase and Amy and all that shit, Dogma and all that. I can one hundred percent hear that in my own brain when he i can hear that conversation that's awesome <laughs> that's 100 percent fantastic because that's not even like in my opinion that's not even character that is just him it's just yeah him. that's fucking yeah. so for the cool. most part it is it's it's just like it's just amped up jay yeah but it's jay that's yeah. fucking so cool yeah. dude uh and and then you also are going to be in the next movie uh yeah, I am. Uh, I'm in Clerks. I'm in Clerks three. When's the release date for that? Um, because I'm so pumped. I know that. they're touring with it. Uh, September thirteenth. Like the inconvenience tour, but yeah, they're doing like the like theater release September thirteenth. That's awesome. Are they back at the Quick Stop again with Dante and oh, Randall? Oh yeah. And, oh hell yes. Yep. I am pumped. I fucking. Clerks, Clerks the, the too quick, had the quick some. Stop is back. The video yeah. shut, store is back. It's that fucking line but. with that thing with Clerks too, where he tapes that fucking shit on his back, but he's taking it back. <laughs> it was Randall when he fucking oh does my that. Gosh. I yeah. almost pissed myself. I was like, "You got to be fucking kidding me!" So, so for the both of you, what's next? Like, you guys are on this tour. 
You guys are killing. World, world you guys domination. are both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys right. are both killing it. I mean, like every every place that you go, you fucking kill. So so, what is the next thing for you guys? We uh, actually the, the same thing we do every night. <laughs> jerk pingy. each other off and try the, in the and take over the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, big in the brain. Uh-huh. Narf. Yeah. We uh, we just finished writing our first movie. Nice. Yep. So yep. we're working on getting uh, getting that put together. Well, that's cool. Which one plays the husband leaving for work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shit. I mean both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no kid, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we've got that. We've got some other stuff that we're working on, but really just you know we're loving the road. Yeah, and and just yeah. you know we're we're really having a good time. We're having fun doing it. I mean, for me personally, uh, you know, it's just it's a blast. It's a dream come true. I'm so blessed and happy that I'm able to do this. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, for you know, we're constantly pitching different TV ideas, movie ideas. I mean, that's kind of like where we we love to write. So like, we want to kind of yeah. transition into that into also doing writing and acting. And sure. And I and I've done like, like I've had some ideas on my own, but like as, as a comic my myself, shit. fuck off. <laughs> as a comic on my own, like as in in some of the ideas that I've had, like not all the ideas I have are all comedies. Some of them are tragedies, sure. some of them are dramas. Yeah. So are you like are you guys focusing straight on comedies or are you guys so have a little far, bit of other different ideas as well? Yeah, I mean so far like the stuff that we're working on together is definitely like comedy. Like the movie we wrote is a comedy horror movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um so like the stuff that we're writing together is definitely comedy, but AJ also has a lot of stuff that he's working on that you know is is great and and sure. not all of it is comedy and the same thing with me. I mean there's some stuff that I, yeah. I'm working on that's not also comedy, but sure. it's hard for us to do stuff and, and not be like, you want to do this together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially yeah. if you guys spend so much time together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, but you got guys like, uh, I'm assuming you guys know who Andrew Schultz is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So he decided to do his own thing. Like he's he's staying away from Netflix. He's staying away from HBO. He's, mm-hmm. he's deciding to do his own online pay-per-view kind of thing. Uh, to you know, obviously collect funds. Uh, that, that's the whole point of this: is to be a business and be able to make money. Um, do you guys see you guys uh, doing something like that in the future? Um, I'm ca- I'm thinking on the about spot. It. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm actually I'm ta- I'm talking about putting out like a special on YouTube. Like I think no my shit. next goal is like I'm already I haven't really done anything with my YouTube yet and I'm already just from people trickling in from my other social medias or I'm at like 3200 followers. Yeah, I, I ran out of videos, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm going to start like like kind of moving things over to YouTube and kind of building up the YouTube and then when as soon as I get that monetized, I think I'm going to put out like a short special. The and um, the the thing is is though like you, with YouTube, they I mean they they pay okay. I'm not going to say that they pay great. But like that's what Schultz did. That's the whole yep. reason why he went that route was because he could get guys um, making their own pay per view and and making a lot more money doing it that way because they don't have to worry about all the other shit. The other yeah. thing is that they don't have to censor themselves, right? Which is a, another big thing, especially with me. I'm I'm a very uncensored kind of a guy. I I don't like it when people do that to themselves because I I'm I'm that guy. But yeah, he's like, full of N words. Shut this up. Guy. Oh, God. I, I am yeah. not. Drops him I am not. But in all seriousness, like whenever you get into that particular situation, if you have the opportunity to be able to go out and make your own pay per view, which they now have sites up to do that, and you can make the most capital for doing something like that, is that an option for the future? I mean, OnlyFans does keep emailing me. They mm-hmm. sure do. They've been emailing me about joining their platform. So yeah, yeah. he's got them feats. That's true. I could no. I I could do an OnlyFans special. You could. Uh, I mean, maybe. So I. Uh, <laughs> <there's> a, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, Just there's a, a speedo, so bro. there's a chance. Um, I'm working with someone right now about. Um, getting on like the Netflix is a joke radio. Yeah. Like I guess they film those shows and like record those shows themselves and then put yeah. the audio on their mm-hmm. XM channel and then they put the video on, on their social media feeds. Right. And then based on like how like the feedback from that goes, that could lead to like a bigger Netflix special. Yeah. So I think because I'm not established yet, like Andrew Schultz already has stuff on Netflix. So it's, you know, once oh, you've dude. already collected one check that size, it's easier to turn down another check that sure. size. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I think that that, like for us, we're at that point where like, you know, living on the road is cool, but it would be cool cooler if we could afford to like, you know, stay in nice hotels. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, like La Quintas yeah. and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. not have to sleep in the like not have to nap in the car outside of yeah. the airport. You know, because you, we couldn't get a hotel. The, you, you feel safer <clears throat> eating in the driver's seat. Yeah, you know what I mean. The right. Damn hotel yeah. room. This is a stranger's house. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, but no, the yeah, other I question that I have can't is eat in front of strange people. What are yeah. you talking <laughs> about? Well, we feed each other, so it gets yeah, weird. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's right. right. super weird. Right. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, is that I don't think a whole lot of people understand, like when comedians write material. Let's say, let's say that uh, you're going to do a special. I'm assuming you're going to do it for an hour. Um, We're actually thinking like 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. that seems to be kind okay. of the move right now. Okay, if that's a move, okay. Yeah, 30 so minutes. Turns out how? people's attention spans are a lot shorter. Uh, that ain't no shit. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Thank Basca you. Basketball so. had it right. Yeah, thank you, TikTok, you pieces of mm -hmm. shit. Uh, but no, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people understand how long it takes just to write 30 minutes. I, I don't think that they understand right. that that how big of a special that is. So whenever you're touring, oops, excuse me, uh, I don't. I, when you're touring and you're doing all of these jokes that people understand, it's like, oh, I, I see this guy and I get to see these jokes. I don't think they understand like if they if they do if you guys do a special, how long does it take you to write thirty minutes? It just depends, really. I mean, that's yeah. the thing too. Is like sometimes it can take. And I and here's the thing too to keep in mind, three years. You know yeah, what I right. mean? Yeah. So like for us, it's like we both have over an hour right yeah. now, right? It, that we've uh, accumulated in three years. Yeah. So you know, take that for what, but what it's worth. But but well, that's a big deal yeah, to be yeah. able to say that I have over an hour of material. Whenever you have a comedian that's coming through that has that's only been doing it for four th or three years or whatever the case may be, an hour is a big deal. If you've got an hour of material and that you can go on on stage and be able to do it, that takes so much fucking time right. to be yeah. able to perfect it. And so many people don't understand well, that. Well, and what's crazy? Not just that, but also like. Especially because a, a lot of your spots coming up are three minute spots, five minute spots, like yeah. maybe ten minute spots if you're lucky, you know. And then you eventually you get to like fifteen and twenty minute spots. But it's it's not it's coming up with the material is like one part of it, and then figuring out how to weave the material together to make it all one cohesive hour is another thing. Like where can I put like leave space to put like random jokes that I'm working on that I don't know if they're going to work yet and then still have something good that's going to come like yeah. behind that and yeah. pick it up if it doesn't work. And well, and what's the worst part of it too is when you get that hour and you get that special out or whatever the case is, the first thing people are asked like, what's your new special? <laughs> like, motherfucker, I just worked for a year and a half on this material and now you're like, whoa, whoa all right, the cool, that dropped. When's the next one? Yeah. Like, I don't fuck, know that feeling man. yet. <laughs> like, are you serious? Um, so it's, it's, there's that, but there's also the people that are going to watch it and be like, okay, I saw this. Now I want to go see what he's doing live. Right? Yeah. And that's absolutely. like the idea. Um, <clears throat> but I think the more frustrating part as a comedian is like, they tell you that like on your way up, everybody tells you like, you have to get an hour, you have to get an hour, you have to get an hour, you have to get an hour. And then you get an hour. Right. But then when you go to like audition for, for like, uh, like, Fest, if you go to do festivals or you go to like audition at clubs and stuff like that, it's like, oh, do five minutes, do seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. You go to do like, you start getting like offers for like TV and stuff and they're like, oh, do seven minutes. So they start like now all of a sudden people are like chipping away at this hour and you're like, you told me to build an hour and now you don't want the hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like, well, I can't give you this seven minutes because this seven minutes goes with like this other four right. minutes yeah, over right. here. And CBS yeah, has got this one. Here. So yeah, now I got to exactly. get this one for NBC. Yeah. But I guess I guess, I guess that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, so yeah. many people do not understand, therefore they don't appreciate a comedian lifestyle whenever you're trying to write an hour's worth of comedy. It's fucking tough. Yeah. I can't do it. No, we I'm, know that. You crush Because I'm, show. I'm fucking it. not funny. But at the same time, like, you I keep do say You keep saying that he's the comedian and you're not. You've made me laugh a lot more than <laughs> this guy Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I try. Dude, do not give him any throw him Don't give him any like, credit. No, 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 you're good. No. He sucks. No, I'll, just, I'll just sit here and just keep on pushing this button <laughs> yeah. over and over again. But yeah, no. He's the worst. Do not give no, him any credit. But, but that's my job. As, as, as a guy that is on this show, my job is to be the punching bag. I'm the guy that's not supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. That is He does a very good job. And I do that. Very, very well. I think and 
you're doing a great job. You're Thank the you. guy that does it all for the nookie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, dude, I'm, I'm yeah, married. That's all I can think is just big Fred, Fred Durst. Yeah, that's, Fred that's, Durst. that's, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the Walmart version of Fred Durst. That's what yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, you wish. Yeah, no. Yeah. Fred <laughs> that's the dollar okay, store. Okay, fine. Dollar store. <laughs> Fred, uh, Fred Durst. Fred yeah. Worst. <laughs> yeah, I'm Fred Worst. Uh, but no, that, that's my job. That is legitimately my job on this show is to not be funny. I am supposed to be the target. That is legitimately me just be you dude who cares just ah, be yeah. you that's me i'm, yeah, I'm telling you're people, doing great i'm telling people to boo my ass whenever we go out on the live show on no, october man, 22nd fantastic. at more shays <laughs> why would you do that yeah you're doing fantastic he's very uh, boo worthy uh, uh, uh yeah i am yeah i'd boo him up yeah, <laughs> yeah boo, boo, <laughs> boo worthy, out of me. yeah that's right <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I, I sincerely do uh, appreciate you guys. Yeah, like, uh, you, you fucking killed it, and, and, and you made my wife laugh, so I'm probably going to get laid. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Why are you getting laid? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm there. We did all yeah, the work. Did. <laughs> yeah, that's the last. Uh, she has not laughed that hard since the first time she saw him naked. <laughs> that is the last time she laughed that hard. Uh, thanks to uh, manscaped.com to where I could, uh, you know, get to shave my shit. So it's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's she right. still laughs. So she can more accurately point when she laughs. That's right. Yeah, that's absolutely. exactly right. So it's like, oh, good. It's got a trim mm-hmm. job. Good job. Um, Who puts and, toilet paper squares on their balls? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, do you have any more questions, Eric, for him? I, I mean, no, I'm, absolutely. Uh, I think they've answered pretty much all of them. I'm pretty sure. I mean, uh, I'm I'm good from this point. I know this mm-hmm. is a shorter episode, guys, but we had the opportunity, and uh, you know, we took it. They have so, been fantastic. I do. Yeah. I actually do have one question. Uh, your tattoos. What do you got going on here? You got the. Uh, I got forest? all kinds of stuff going on. Jesus yeah. Christ! Guy from Florida with tattoos. No yeah. shit. I got a forest. I got he outlines this, of mountains and the stuff. The sneezing up here. bear. I have a little. No, dog. It's a little. He's covering his. He's covering his face because he's embarrassed. Cause <laughs> I'm embarrassing, dog. <laughs> no, is, are you serious? Yeah. That is the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. <laughs> That is the best tattoo I've ever seen. And I saw a guy that had the word. That's how I feel around people. When people, I was like, oh, no. That is fucking great. They saw me. Oh, no. I had a guy that had the word terror tattooed on his wrist. So, like, for terrorist, I knew that. Oh, Jesus. That is fucking way wow. better. That is a million. That no, is yeah, that's definitely better. This I, one's yeah, better. I love that. <laughs> One gets how, you flagged at airlines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how, how annoying is it, when, like, if you have somebody that walks by and is like, oh, and they just fucking start. What do you got? What's going on? <laughs> like they just start like lifting your arm up and shit. Yeah, that see. was very unpleasant. <laughs> yeah, does that happen? That has to happen. That has to happen. I was just like, yeah, he's not liking it right now. Yeah, he is. He hates this. Right, right now, it's not fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Does that happen? Uh, no, oh, yeah, it does happen. It feels a little bit like in uh, like Charlotte's Web. Like it feels a little bit like it's some pig. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's really cool. I I, I, really I do cool. enjoy all that. I always I never I don't have any tattoos, but I don't feel like they're tattoos. I feel like they're artwork, and I think that's really cool what yeah, you got man. going on there. So 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 this this podcast will will air on Wednesday of next week. So uh, if you guys want to drop any dates, you are more than welcome to drop uh, dates. I see uh, I see Jake uh, pulling up his phone because <laughs> yeah, I'm like I don't know. He's like fuck I don't. Um, September thirteenth. And no, September 14th and 16th, we are at Lebowski's in Iowa. Iowa. No shit. Yes. Yeah. yeah, near Cedar Rapids. So you guys are going uh, straight north. Yeah, yeah well, cool. we're, we're well, in the fall, we're, st- we're sure, starting we're, to do a bunch of... The week before, uh, we're in New York, and then we're in Penn State. And yeah, <laughs> in the fall, we're doing a bunch of college gigs, yeah. so we're starting to go out to all of these colleges. I have heard so. the rug in that room really ties it all together. <laughs> at we're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Doug. No, it's an actual. It's like a, a like a bowling alley restaurant. That is the coolest fucking shit show. ever. That's yeah. fucking I, awesome. Yeah, yeah, very exciting. Where's it at? Um, it's in Iowa. It's near Cedar Rapids. I have Iowa. to fucking go see that. <clears throat> yeah, I have to. It's uh, it's very cool. I'm very excited about those. We're also doing uh, in Chicago. Oh. We're doing like this super cool oh, yeah. fucking October 29th. Yeah, retro circus. So okay. like it's this like super cool variety show. There's gonna be like wrestling matches, and there's gonna be like I don't know like sword swallowers or fire breathers. What the stuff fuck? Like that. And yeah, and then us, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it's us, gonna be so dog. wild, dude. Yeah, 
I, we're just gonna go out on stage and just be like, "What? Yeah, that I'm so, dog. I'm, that dude, that, do? I'm just gonna go on stage and say words after that dude breathed fire, dog. <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah. I just like that. I hope they what? bring you out. Like they're like, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they for better. Sure, they, they better. better. Dog, yeah. I hope they. Bri- I hope when I'm on stage, they bring out the whole freak show with me, dog. We're just gonna. I'm gonna complete the circle. Dog. <laughs> If I hold hands with an entire circle of freak shows while I'm doing all this, I bet we open like a portal to somewhere. Oh my God. Into it. Jesus fucking Christ. That sounds like an absolute load of fun. Yeah. It's so come see that. Yeah. Be like, keep it going for the bearded lady. Yeah, Are exactly. you guys ready for your next act to come up on stage? <laughs> so yeah. so far. Another bearded lady. <laughs> I do I do have a question. I do have a question. What so so far? On your seven. tour, so what? far, yeah, seven, <laughs> right. So, on your tour so far, what's the craziest venue you've been to? The craziest or worst? Worst <laughs> or crazy? Oh, it's got to be let's, both. Let's go, bro. All right. I will say the worst place that we went to, and it's making me very nervous because on the twenty first, so you're going, going back. back. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going back to the same place. But it's very, it's 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 close. <laughs> Because it, it was in Michigan. But, oh, I but fucking man. I know. This place, <laughs> oh. the place I'm going to be on the 21st of this month is in, uh, I think it's pronounced uh, Munising, Michigan. Yeah. But it's like right on the Canadian border. Nice. So it's far enough away from this place. But we did this show in. Oh, um, don't, don't let that fool you. This this <laughs> podcast, we have less listeners in this state. We have more listeners everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you can call in a quarter a quarter help since it's on the Canadian border. <laughs> cool. but, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can edit this out. Uh, but if yeah, maybe. this there's this there was a place that we went and did what was it Springfield, Michigan? Springfield, Springfield, Michigan. Michigan. Oh. I don't even remember the name of the venue. Luckily, but we went <laughs> and it was it was I, I got booked to do the show as as uh, the feature. And I was like, hey, I have my friend with me. We're currently on tour. Is it cool if he comes and opens the show? And they're like, absolutely. Sounds great. So I was like, cool. We'll both get paid. We got an extra gig. So we drive up there. And it was out of the way. But I was already booked, so I kind of had to do it. And we show up. And AJ goes up to host and open up the show. And he's going to do like 10 to 15 minutes. And he's five minutes into the set and zero laughs. When I say zero laughs, I'm not saying like they weren't laughing very much. There was zero laughs. Like you no could, you fucking could hear, way. You could hear silverware on like plates and shit. Dog. <laughs> no. no. So a lot way. of times when that like, happens, the comedians in the back will be dying laughing. Sure. Because we're just like, this is hilarious for us. Yeah. It was painful. I was not laughing at all. It was so strange, Doug. And like everyone just had like blank looks on their face. Like yeah. nobody knew what was happening. Was it Friday like, Late Show? No, it was a, uh, it was, because it, was, it wasn't a club. No, okay. it, was like it wasn't a, a club. Restaurant, bar kind of place. Right. But they do comedy there all the time. Yep. So it's not like it was just and like a room, pop-in. And the room we were in was specifically for comedy. Like it was uh, a side room. So yeah. everyone who was in there was there wow. for the comedy show. Like uh, nothing against the people of Springfield, Michigan. But like we said, like we're very good at our jobs. Like not, <laughs> yeah, like, no not shit. like to brag or anything. Well, that yeah, was like, my thing is that I'm watching <clears throat> AJ do the – I've never seen him do bad. And it, I'm like, this is, he's doing everything like he always does, and no one's laughing. I don't know what is going on. So then he finishes, and then he brings me up on stage, and then I go up, and I've got a half hour to do. And oh, a, again, and, and your spot, zero yeah. laughs, no laughs uh, at all. Then I, I, I've got a couple stories that I tell about, like the Uber, driving Uber. So mm-hmm. I get to the, the part, my closer, I'm doing, talking about driving Uber, and a table gets up and leaves. In the middle of it. And oh, I'm like, walked him. and I'm like, well, okay, this is so weird. So then we're so like, they hate up. comedy. It's not a big deal. The headliner gets up and starts, and starts doing material. And I'm not, like, I'm not saying anything bad about this comic. They were funny, but the room is exploding with laughter. What the fuck? And we're like, what did we do? And it was just, but his comedy was way different than our comedy. Sure. So and, fucking weird. Dog. And it was just, yeah, very, like, I've never left a place and been like, I will never come back here. It, and it, yeah. it really, like, if it was just me, I would have left and felt like I did something wrong. I would have left and been like, I got to figure this out. But, but the fact that I seen AJ first mm-hmm. and know him and 
he didn't do anything different. And I was just like, this is so strange. Well, then afterwards, uh, that table that walked out, I was outside and they came up to me because they didn't leave. They just went outside. They didn't want to hear it. They came up to me and they're like, hey, your Uber stories. I was like, yeah. And they said, um, s- about four months ago, there was an Uber driver here in town that killed a bunch of co-eds. Oh, oh shit. shit. And I and all my stuff is is talking about drunk college kids in my Uber. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's unfortunate. And they were like, that's why we just didn't want to hear it. It's too fresh. And I was like, okay, Damn I understand it. that. But what about I don't the know 20 what? minutes before? Yeah. No, also, shit. I don't know what they did to the autistics then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dog. Like, ooh. Yeah, so that was a hundred. And my like, experience, and I've done shows that were like rough, and there wasn't a lot mm-hmm. of people, but I had fun. Like, yeah. I've done shows where there's like three people in the audience. I have fun. I did a show for a failed reality star one time. Uh, for their cookout where no one had shirts on. You can, and call, I was the, on you the can s- call them the situation. Was, we all know. <laughs> it's okay. I was on the <laughs> second story deck behind his garage that was falling apart, and I still had a better time at that place. No but shit. It was uh, it was rough. We left, and in the car, like, for an hour, it was just complete silence, uh-huh. other than occasionally one of us would, would just mutter, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like I hated that place. I hated yeah. that place. Yeah. Years ago, I had done a show in, I think it was Elkhart, Kansas, and I used to do this bit, and it never did great, but I would still do it because I was still trying to get... I, I was trying to fill time sure. at that point. I was pretty new. Yeah. And it That's was all we did for tonight for 45 minutes right. apiece. And it was something about <laughs> scabies. And I did this thing about scabies. And I get done and had never gotten a laugh at God that it did it that night. Nice. And nice. I get done with the show and I'm fucking shaking hands and having a great time. And they the all show. have scabies. Hang on, hang on. They go, how? They go, how did you know about that fucking scabies thing? And I go, what are you talking about? And they go, oh, man, about... Two months ago, we had a giant scabies outbreak. And they're and all like, shaking your hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I go to the headliner, I'm like, hey, you got any more of that fucking hand sanitizer? Uh. Pre-COVID? <laughs> Nobody had that shit on them. Oh, oh that was the worst. Hope you didn't jerk off. That's right. Yeah, well, I did in the Taco Bell. That's just to tell you, timing is everything. Yeah. No bullshit. Yeah. Time, timing is legitimately everything. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's that was. I mean, in my in my experience, that was the worst show I've ever done. Yeah, I don't know. Was. I because st- it's so strange. Yeah. I don't understand mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah. yeah, it was just very weird. Because if the headliner went up and also just sucked, then we yeah. would have been like, okay, they just don't like comedy here. Yeah, sure. But I think like his opening bit was something like. Um, it, it was just something like, you ever go to Taco Bell and just get too many packets? And the place erupted. <laughs> and we just looked at each other and was like, we're going outside. Yeah, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? We are just like, and I'm not saying he was a bad comic because I think he was funny. Yeah. I, but it was just like, he yeah. knew that room and knew what they wanted. Sure. Or they were all there specifically, like they follow him online. So it was like, yeah. they just like his specific yeah, type sure. of comedy yeah, or whatever. Maybe. You Ooh, know. loaded question. Ready? Weird. Loaded yeah. question. Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you bomb. Uh-huh. Is it the is the audience's fault or is it your fault? Uh, I I don't ever blame the audience. Yeah, that was the only Very time. Good. That's the only yeah. time that we were like. Very good. Where we left and we were like, was that us or the audience? Sure. Yeah. So, but that taught me a lot because that taught me because what I did was I went up and just did my material. Yeah. And it wasn't going good. They didn't care, and I just kept going. But after that, I was like, okay, I need to learn from this. Um, I don't think I did anything different, but maybe that's the issue. They didn't want me. They didn't want what I was doing. And a lot of comics are like, I'm giving them what I do, and that's it. And that's totally fine. I think that's justifiable. Mm-hmm. But for me, what I learned was sometimes in those rooms, they would want crowd work or they want something like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's it, it changed the way I approach rooms. So like now there's a couple things I do up front a lot of times whenever I open my show that's to gauge laughs. Yeah. I'll I'll talk I'll talk about my previous drug use. Are are people laughing at this? Okay, cool. I can talk about this. Or I'll talk about my kids. Are people laughing? Cool, I can talk about that. Now, I'll do it in a just a little bit and then if they're not laughing, I'm like, okay, they don't want drug talk or okay, they don't want me to talk about my kids. No, no, I'm a dad stuff. Yeah. And so it did teach me how to like pivot and just 
read the room and give people what they want. They paid for a show. Yeah. So it's like I could just be like, I'm just doing my material and leaving, and I think that's fine. I was hired to do this. But also, I was also hired because I can make people laugh. So if they're not laughing at this, I need to give them what they want. Sure. So yeah. it did change the way I approach it, but I still hate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's that's all I got. I mean, let's see. Uh, Derek, you got anything uh, else? I got nothing else no, at all. Nothing else? Well, what do you think about, about yeah, yeah, the Yeah, actually, the no, yeah, yeah, go for it. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your version. Um, so I, I think somebody gave me really good advice, uh, like, super early on in comedy. And they basically, they were like, you can avoid a lot of time bombing if you write more. Right? So I think that combined with, like, I've realized, like, if things don't go well, it's normally it's because I've failed to communicate something correctly. Okay. Right? Because it's like I've reached the point where, like, I'm confident enough that I know what's funny and what isn't funny, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, I, I can, like, think of a new joke and, like, 85% sure, like, okay, I know this is going to get a laugh when it goes on stage. So if something doesn't get a laugh, it's like, okay, what did I do wrong? What did I, like, not communicate? Like, what piece of information was missing to, like, make the things click, like, click in their head? Sure. So. That's it? That's it. And I wish, I wish Jeremy Joseph was here because he always says that the least amount of words is always better. That's yeah, always better. <laughs> yeah, which is horrible for me because <laughs> I tell so many stories. And my stories oh, and are not. he's a storyteller. And my stories are not written out. Like yeah, it's just like I have a story and I'm just going to go up and talk about it. So it's different a lot of times. I'll send which one. Which isn't always good. I'll send one to you that okay. uh, our fans enjoy, and uh, and you can judge as much as. Yeah, you perfect. I love ignoring it. messages. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> send it. Send it my way, man. Yeah. But in all seriousness, th thank you guys so very much. Yeah. I, I know it's late. I know it's uh, it's at the end of a show. I I sincerely do appreciate it. You guys coming here. Uh, I, I have a huge heart for our area, our region. I, I sincerely do appreciate both of you fucks. It was AJ. He brought me along, man. Uh, Thank AJ. AJ. AJ, you the man, dude. I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. This is cool. This Fantastic. is like easily the second nicest basement I've ever been. <laughs> I'll take it. Easily. I'll fuck. I'm moving. Ni yeah. Nicest <laughs> one, not against your will? No, I feel like Aaron Aaron's Aaron's basement was better. Okay, okay, all right. I'll, I'll <laughs> he also had a PS Five. <laughs> no matter what, I'll take True. it. Still, just saying. Uh, but thank you guys so very much. Uh, do check them out. Uh, uh, go ahead and give them your tags on uh, TikTok and Instagram, if you would, please. Uh, Instagram and Facebook and everything is uh, AJ Wilkerson Comedy, and uh, TikTok is Captain Autism Comedy. And go ahead and go, Jake. Also, uh, AJWilkersonComedy.com. <laughs> it's AJWilkerson.com. AJWilkerson.com, yep. yep. And uh, mine's JakeRubel.com, R-U-B-L-E. Uh, Instagram and TikTok is at Indiana Rubel. And uh, I, I'm old, so Facebook is where I'm at the most. Of course you are. So, Same Yeah, bro. That's, that's where I'm at the most. So you Facebook fucks is are just Jake Rubel. such dinosaurs. God! Dude, I'm trying to figure out TikTok and Instagram, but it's like I'm posting the same stuff on there that I'm posting on Facebook, and I've got like 60,000 people are into it on Facebook, and 5,000 people are into it on TikTok. So I'm I'll like, yeah. if this I'll is where you. people are, then I, yeah. I help you out. Hey, I, I I'm you, all bro. for it. Let's, I, I got you. I got you, let's, bro. let's pump them numbers we'll up. Well, kill it. Now I got it. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. You can check us out at Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok. And uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, share everything that you can see and uh, comment and like. Uh, do you have anything? I got <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just figured I'm going to set you up. Yep, but no. if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. There you go. See you later. The Bears. <laughs> <laughs>